Independently certified, the most accurate in Central Kentucky. Take a look at this. It's believed high winds are responsible for this downed tree at Crescent and Waller in Lexington. Now, the tree took down some power lines, but thankfully didn't hit any cars or homes. Kentucky utilities arrived to get those power lines working again. Of course, we've had power outages in parts of Lexington and elsewhere as a result of those downed power lines. It is windy out there. Yeah. And when you think about it, you know, all this rain that we've had, the, the ground is so saturated, really it makes it easy for a tree to come down, especially if you have a dead tree. And we're still seeing wind gusts at times up around 45 miles per hour. So the winds will continue this evening to stay really high, but they'll begin to diminish as we get past midnight. Again, current wind gusts for Flemingsburg right now at 40 miles per hour. These winds are changing. They've been a little bit more out of the south since yesterday, but they're changing more out of the northwest, which is starting to draw down some cooler air. Still seeing some wind gusts up around 30 to 35 miles per hour for everyone else. Sustained winds at this time, anywhere from about 15 to 25 miles per hour out of the west to northwest. Again, this is part of a cold front moving across the region. It's not associated with thunderstorms. In fact, today it's mainly been just rain. In fact, we've had some rain showers for far eastern Kentucky over the past hour. Those are moving out of the region. Still could see a few spotty showers as the evening progresses and as we approach midnight, still could see a stray rain shower. But for the most part, we're not expecting a lot more rainfall as we continue overnight. Now, toward areas like Pike County, seeing a few of the last few rain showers across the local viewing area. Central Kentucky, for the most part, much quieter at this time. As far as the rain that we've picked up over the past 24 hours, of course, Southern Kentucky, when we had some flood watches that were issued through today, those flood watches have uh, been taken down, but Harlan County picking up just under one inch. Knox County, over the past 24 hours, about three quarters of an inch. Breathitt, Mercer, Madison, and Fayette County. Seen rainfall amounts anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to about a half an inch. So it was a good soaking rain for the entire viewing area over the past 24 hours. The rain today, though, has been more scattered through the afternoon with this cold front moving through. The bigger picture here shows a low pressure system to our north. So that counterclockwise rotation around this low pressure system, which is strengthening, we've got another low pressure system. These two systems will actually work together and move right off the coast, interacting with some warmer water here off New England and providing quite a bit of snow for areas like upstate New York. They could pick up about a foot of snow. Not expecting snow here, but right along portions of the Appalachian Mountains there could see some snow showers even into West Virginia. For us, we've got high pressure returning to the region. That's going to provide clearing skies as we head back into our Friday. Today's high temperature 61 degrees back above average. Average highs around 50 degrees. The low temperature so far is our current temperature 52 degrees. And again, the Lexington Bluegrass Airport picking up about a quarter of an inch of rain. Temperatures outside right now, mainly in the lower 50s. It will cool continually through the evening hours into the upper 40s around 8 o'clock. Overnight tonight, lower 30s for low temperatures. So a cold start to your Friday morning. Plenty of clouds across the area. For Bank sky view from EKU's campus showing mostly cloudy skies and we'll stay mostly cloudy as the evening progresses. Again, could see a few more showers up to about midnight tonight, but once we get past midnight, we'll start to see a little bit more clear. We've got a full moon tonight. Overnight lows will be around 32 degrees, so a cold start to your Friday morning as the day goes on. High temperatures in the upper 40s, which is actually back around average for this time of year, at least average highs, but more sunshine throughout the afternoon will at least make it feel a little bit better to be outside. We start off your weekend dry, plenty of sunshine for the start of your weekend, but a cold start Saturday morning, low temperatures in the upper 20s as we head into the afternoon. High temperatures are back into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. For tonight, again, we've got the full moon, clearing skies overnight, 32 degrees. Could still see a few spotty showers early, 48 degrees for your Friday afternoon, mostly sunny skies. I would still have a jacket with you, and you'll need the jacket through the weekend. Cold mornings and cool or chilly afternoons, but plenty of sunshine through the weekend. Could see a few more rain showers for early next week, even the possibility for a little wintry mix by next Wednesday and Thursday, but at least we'll enjoy the sunshine while we've got it. Oh, by the way, it is still winter, right? Yes, right. <laughs> I forgot about that. All right, thank you, sir. Well, after last